Okay, who just watched Sherlock His Last Vow? I did. I'm so confused. Like, I understood everything, but... What the, what the fuck? <laughs> just, just what the fuck? Like, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster or been forced to go on a roller coaster 40 times and then been spun around in the teacups. I, I, I don't even know how to function anymore. I think that episode just broke my soul. I am broken. There's nothing more to say. Oh, just what? I'm, I'm just, oh, I can't even. I'm just, I don't know what to do. I feel really, I don't know, inadequate. I don't feel like a human being anymore. That episode has literally broken me. I have no idea what to do. Just... Oh. And now I'm blithering like an idiot, but I just had to do a vlog after it. I know that this isn't going to be very eventful, but... I was going to do a review, but I really can't be bothered. Because my movie maker, when trying to edit, just likes to break. <clears throat> but all I can say is, Mary was a liar the whole time. I'll put spoilers in the title. Um, and... I figured she would be because when um, Sherlock was uh, like analysing her for the very first time um, I paused the screen like a sad bastard and read all the things on it and one of them and like the bottom corner was liar so I figured that had something to do with the storyline um, but just, oh god Martin Freeman's acting in that was just amazing like He's so good at acting upset and angry and just, he deserves a freaking Oscar for that performance because that was brilliant. Um, so yeah, Mary was a liar but then they ended up getting back together so it was kind of a happy ending. And for all of you that don't know, and I apologise for this and it's a spoiler so if you don't want to know, stop now. But if you do, Moriarty's back. And I fucking knew that he would be. I knew he wasn't dead. I just, I just, you can't just kill off Andrew Scott and everyone that like exists is just gonna be so happy because he's not dead oh like this dude in Magnuson or whatever the fuck his name is he was so creepy I don't even know what he was fucking wrong what was wrong with him and then Sherlock ended up fucking killing him uh, and then was going to prison or whatever being confined or whatever and like the last conversation it turns out the baby is a girl um it was just i'm literally i don't know what to do with my life now i really don't i feel i feel broken like i really do and now we just have to wait for series four like what do we do until then i'd uh I, I don't even know. I literally have no idea what to do with myself right now. So yeah, I'm sorry that I've rambled on for like three and a half minutes about fuck all. But yeah, just, oh, I need this series to come out on DVD already. Um, just if you haven't seen this series, go and watch it, please, because just the whole thing has been like a whirlwind of like an adventure. The first episode was amazing when Sherlock came back and it explained how he died. If it did, like people have been like, oh no, none of those were real. But I, th I think the last one was actually real. But like, just this whole series has just been like, pfft, just mind blowing. I don't know what to do with myself right now. I really don't. I don't even know if I can get up in the morning. <laughs> I really, I, I don't know what to do. Oh, the fan fictions that are going to be out very soon. And the gifts and the Tumblr posts. Oh, God. Oh, I no. Just please, if you are not even into Sherlock, just please go and watch it. You will adore this series because I love it. I think this series has probably been my favourite. And I love the Reichenbach Fall, I love the Great Game, I love the pink, the study in pink. Um, I love them all, but I think this series has just topped it all. It's been amazing, and I can't wait for series four. 
I know that series four and five have been planned out and they just need to get the actors in again. I think Benedict actually funded the whole of series four because they wanted to come back and do it so much. Just everyone around the world right now is just going, Moffat! Because of Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatiss, but nobody ever seems to mention Mark Gatiss, but I, I love him, I think he's brilliant. And I, I'm, I'm gonna go now, because I feel like I've wasted your time. Um, which I apologise for, but if you have been watching this whole vlog all the way through, I thank you for that. And we now have 44 subscribers, which is actually really brilliant. So I thank all of you for that, and all of you who are watching, still. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go shower and wash all the sadness away and all the confusion. I, I, I'm, I'm so confused right now. I just, I need to drain myself of just, I need a calm, empty mind is what I need. So I'm gonna go do that in the shower. That sounds weird. Not like that. Goodbye everyone and thank you for watching and just go watch the new series of Sherlock or just go watch them all, all in one. Just watch them all in one day. One day. I'm gonna do that one day. Just a whole marathon. <laughs> See you later guys.